it was a Saturday morning, I think it was. Getting our boat ready to go crayfishing for the morning. And our neighbor in Royal, he's part of the Coastal Watch. So he came running up to us, asked, are you ready to launch? Because there's a drowning in process. So we got all a bit panicky and get the boat ready, call my father, because he has to launch the boat for us. When we were launching the boat, it was just second nature. I was thinking like, how would we get them in? So I just thought, well, hey, Frankie, just grab that pink boy. Just not even thinking that we would necessarily need it. Once we got into the water, I, I remember telling them we need to calm down because at that stage we were all quite hyped up, basically screaming at each other. And we had to calm down because now we were going to go rescue the people, which none of us actually have ever done. Came around the corner, when I saw the people in the water, they started to dip down, so we thought, okay, it's time, they're busy drowning. And I also thought to myself, shit, but it's quite dangerous. Are we going to put our lives at risk for these people? You don't think about it anymore. And I started to, I turned the boat around. I've learned from a young age from my father, always to keep your nose in, into the waves. So I turned the boat around, faced the waves and reversed in. Uh, when we got there, we tried to throw the boy, but the wind was too strong and it just got blown backwards. And then realized we couldn't get close enough. And then my brother jumped off the boat. So I had to get in the water, but I, I literally just swam to them, gave them the boy and swam back, so Frankie pulled them in. If we didn't have the boy, it would have, would have been way more difficult and we could have really put ourselves in risk. That's why I was nervous, because now my brother's in the water and these two people. You would never think that a small boy like that could actually give the guys hope, because a minute or two later they would have gone down. It was quite a struggle to get him in the boat, it was like dead weight. And then we just raced around the corner back to the slipway and then the sea rescue was there and the paramedics were standing by, so we were just in time. Just having that pink boy with 100 newtons of flotation in it gives you the confidence to actually go and do the rescue and just knowing that when you swim in there, you've got this thing to hold on to, you're going to be able to survive. I think that's the important part. So, you know, from, from the National Sea Rescue Institute to you guys, well done. They're really a you know, credit to us and to the Pink Boy program. And uh, thank you very much for, you know, what you guys have done.